Hello, KBU Nation. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new NHL 24 video of the Quad City Mallards fran expansion franchise. And we are back with trying to find a way to get me into the win column. Last two episodes that we've done so far on this channel, um, they've both been losses. Um, so obviously the last game that we played was against the Florida Panthers. We lost that game four to one. And then we played, where is it? Yeah, our opening night game against Winnipeg. We lost that one four to three. So we are looking to try to get a win as this as this expansion franchise playing the game um so far it has proven to not be likely um to this point but we're going to keep trying um one thing we're going to do we're not going to play the vegas golden knights game we're going to skip ahead we'll probably honestly play the islanders to be honest that would be a home game for us at the start of a double header and then we go on the road to take on the blackhawks which will be close by so not like we'll be super tired to just be a quick bus ride up to chicago so um but anyway before we get started in this video guys as always i hope you do enjoy and if you do please smash that like button comment subscribe down below and also to click the notification bell so when you see my videos post you'll be notified um, when they do post so you can watch them right then and there on your cell phone or you can wait till you get home and get on your computer or TV however you do it um, I do want to apologize beforehand um, this video is going to come out on Friday I'm recording this on Thursday and I missed the recording Wednesday um, I do want to apologize beforehand it has not been a very good week around the Stevens household um, or the KBU household I guess hold on um, but anyway, like I said, it, it has not been a good week in the KBU household. Um, very long week, we'll just say that. And I did not feel like recording yesterday, Wednesday, recording today. Um, I did not feel like recording at all yesterday. And I really didn't feel like recording Tuesday. So here I am. I'm going to record a video for you guys. Have it out tomorrow on Friday. Um, and that'll get us to the weekend where i will have another video posted on possibly sunday maybe wait until monday next week um, because i am gonna be out of town i'm probably chances are i'm planning on coming back late sunday night so um i probably won't have a video out on sunday um but i have all next week off too from my work um currently so i'll be probably focused mainly on getting videos out to you guys if possible, and maybe possibly try to plan ahead on videos because obviously, with the holiday coming up, gonna be a lot of traveling going on after the holiday is over. I hope I don't have to worry about any traveling anytime soon. So, anyway, let's skip ahead here a little bit, guys. Um, like I said, we do have the Vegas Golden Knights here, and then we got Ottawa, who are surprisingly four and one and one. That's very surprising. The Anaheim Ducks, who are surprisingly five and two. Um, so you got the Ducks, and then you got the Hurricanes. And then the New York Rangers, who are two and five, and then Vancouver, who's three and four, and then we have the New York Islanders, who are currently four, two and one. We're going to skip to that game, get a home game there, and we'll see how we do in between. So we do beat Vegas, and we have a trade offer here. It looks like Brown for a twenty twenty four round six pick from the Bruins. I think we're going to go ahead and decline that trade for now. Um, we beat Ottawa 6-4, to four, and then we get a shootout victory against the Anaheim Ducks, and we beat the Carolina Hurricanes 4-3, to three, and then we lose to the Rangers 5-2, to two, and then we lose again to the Canucks. So we beat the good team, beat the teams that had good records like the Hurricanes, which now they're 7-6. and six. The Ducks are 7-4 and four after that shootout win, or shootout loss, I should say, and then... We beat the Senators, who now fall into 6-6-1. Six, six and one. and then we beat the Vegas Golden Knights, who are honestly not, or really probably with the best team in the NHL right now. Uh, I haven't really followed it too much, but it always seems Vegas has been good ever since they started as a franchise. So um, to beat them in Vegas is definitely a statement. Um, but now we move on here to the Islanders, who are 8-4. and four. Eight, four, and one, which they should. They have the second best record in the Metropolitan. 
um, standings um, currently behind the New Jersey Devils of all teams. Um, and then you got Pittsburgh, Carolina, the Rangers, and your top five. So, yeah. We'll get ready here. It looks like we got a couple of things we got to tend to in the stadium department um, for the mark. It looks like we got to do a little bit of maintenance work here to the team store. Um, so we will do that. And yeah, we'll go ahead and repair the parking lot as well. We don't have much money to play with, so we're going to have to be very careful with how much money we spend because we do not have that much for the budget on the arena itself. So anyway, guys, we're going to get into this next game here um, against the Islanders. You can see so far, it looks like Patrick Kane is our leader in points um, after 14 games played. To this point, he has 10 goals and 7 assists. Um, the next best guy in point total is actually Jonathan Taze. So I'm assuming a lot of Kane's goals have probably come out of assists from Mr. Jonathan Taze. Obviously, Kane is one of the best goal scorers we have currently on the team. Victor Olofsson's got 6 goals. Um, Dmitry Orlov has 4. Sam Steele also has 4. And Eric Howla as well. And I think assist leaders are probably going to be Jonathan Taze. Yeah, Taze at 13. And Tyler Bertuzzi's actually got 10 assists as well. And I think they're on the same line with each other. So we might look to see if we can mix the lineup real quick. But yeah, this seems to be they're passing it to Patrick Kane. And Kane's just taking it right to the net and scoring. Because if I remember correctly, I think... Tyler Bertuzzi's on line one. Yeah, he's on line one with uh, Kane and uh, it should be Taze, but Taze is not. For some reason, they keep switching Taze. I don't know why. Let's see. Does it? No, it doesn't really help there. So I, I don't know why they keep switching those two around. But I'd rather have Eric Calla. Eric Howell is a pretty good face-off guy, so I don't know. I can't get him up the order any further, though. All right, guys, we are ready to go here. We're going to actually throw on our alternate unis for this. Um, the orange unis for the Quad City Mallards in this episode. <laughs> I don't think they actually wore orange unis in real life at Mallards games, but I liked it because just something different. Um, here you get a look at my sliders as well, which for some reason they got reset. These are the, going to be the sliders that we're going to be running. Um, I pulled these off of a website, so hopefully they work, um, well for us, which when I was doing some games, um, it was still quite difficult and I was still getting scored on quite a bit. So I hope that'll go well for us, but we're going to be facing an X Factor goaltender as well, as you can see up to the top left in Ela Sorokin. Um, hopefully he's not in net tonight, but let's actually get a look at it here. He might we'll be able to see. As you can see, we are probably going to have Jonathan Quick in net, and it looks like they will have Sorokin in net. So um, we'll get a look here at our lineup, get one last look at the lineup. Um, I think we're going to have, from what it seems like, we are going to have, oh, we're going to have Dostal. What's going on here? What happened to Swayman? Did he get hurt or something? I gotta look this up, guys. Hold on. Oh, he did. He got hurt. Oh. And Victor Mete is also hurt. I don't know if... I think... Yeah, he's on our... He's got a broken wrist. He won't be able to return until January. And Jeremy Swayman's knee is swollen, and he may not be able to return until November 13th. So, oh. That is why he's not in the lineup. So, okay. So, that sucks. We're going to be playing without Jeremy Swayman here for this game and possibly more uh, depending on what happens. So that's going to be that's going to be bad news for us. Hopefully, um, Dostal can step it up um, and provide the ability for a, for a good netminder. West. 
Here we go, guys. We got the orange unis on. We got a backup goaltender that has been in the AHL in net. And we're underway here against the Islanders and already a check of all proportions there. Tay's got rocked on that play. Oh, good save there by Dostal, and he's going to cover up. Nice save by Dostal, who is coming in relief, essentially, since we are down our starting goaltender. Um, we still have Jonathan Quick, um, who was playing well. I didn't really look at his stats. I didn't see if he was still playing well or not. And, oh, there's a shot. I think got deflected. I think I got deflected or something there. Patrick Kane, oh, he blocked the shot, but somehow almost had it. Going back the other way. Now we are going to take it back the other way. Jonathan Taze has it. Gets it up to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi's down the ice. And Bertuzzi in front of the net. And oh, oh, it's in. Goal. Tyler Bertuzzi scores. And it's 1-0 early on after the puck was deflected off the shot by the goaltender and went in. I had to do a little bit of a pause there because I had to let the dog out. Jonathan Taze gets another point because I think he got the assist on that. And it is an early 1-0 advantage for the Quad City Mallards as now Backlund takes it up. It goes to Olofsson who fires. And Varmal Var Varlamov, or I don't know how to say his name, who is actually going to be the starting netminder tonight for the Islanders. It is not Sorokin. It is their other goaltender. Boquist tried to shoot there. Gets knocked down in the process. Now the Islanders take it up. And good defense there by the Mallards. And now we're going to take it back the other way. Here's Backlund. Gets it to Felino. Felino shoots and it's safe by Varlamov. Or Varlamov. And he will cover for a faceoff. Finally got that last name because the announcer's in game. And yeah, Boquist took a shot on that play. And Mikel Backlund. We got two guys in the top 10 as far as check hits. So that's good news for our team. And we don't win the face off there. And the Islanders are going to take it out the other way. They get it across center ice and just dump it in. And now that's going to go to Felino. That pass up there to Backlund. Backlund's going to take it up ice. And he gets checked there at center ice. And it goes back the other way. Engvall's got it. No, probably no relation to Bill Engvall, the comedian. But And we're going to dump, try to dump that in. But they get a piece of it. And then they're going to dump it in. And Pierre Oliver Joseph is going to take it. We get it up the ice here. Coonan. Coonan's going to take it up the ice. Coonan in. Cross into the attacking zone. Gets checked there by Pollock. And they get it back going the other way. Here's Holmstrom. Holmstrom's got it up the attacking zone. Looking for somebody to pass it to. Gets it to Engvall. Shot deflected. And we're going to take it back the other way. Valamaki's got it. But it gets poked away from him. And the Islanders are going to take it back going the other way. And there's Barzal. Barzal shoots... Passes it back to Nelson. Fires. Shot never went through. Now the Mallards are going to take it back the other way. Quad City. There's Kunin. A shot there on the wraparound backhand. And Varmalov saves that one. And there will be a faceoff. And again, guys, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see the com like a commentary like this. I'm doing the best I can though on this live com. Um, and like commentating an actual NHL, trying to commentate an actual game. Let me know if this is what you guys want to see. As that shot is saved by Dostal. Another shot saved by Dostal. And I should have just froze it, but I decided to pass it out anyway. And they, they get rocked right there. Sam Steele's got it, but Steele gets it poked away from him. And Dobson will take it up now. And Romanov is going to take it up center ice. And Romanov just swoops right on in the front door there as they get in the attacking zone. Dobson scores! And it is tied one to one. Dobson with the score on that one. I tried to go for the body check there to try to get him off the puck, but I was too little too late. And Noel Dobson scores his fifth goal of the season. Or Noah Dobson. And the Islanders tie the game up. 
And that was too early there on the faceoff, so they win the faceoff. Ajo takes it up. Pat Peugeot, Lee has got it. That's a shot. Oh, oh! Right, the puck was right there in the net. It didn't go. Unbelievable. Unbelievable luck there for Dostal. And now the Islanders have it back the other way. Wallstrom shot saved by Dostal. And now the Mallards get it back going the other way there. Gerard's got it. He tries to deke a man and gets checked for his trouble. That pass right in front there to Taze, but it gets deflected away by the goaltender. And now the Islanders have to go back the other way. Here comes Mr. Lee. Lee gets it poked away from him. And the Mallards take it back the other way. That pass up ice. Taze was offside. So pass what went through. Wallstrom gets in there, but it is checked by uh, Boquist, number 27. I got to remember some of these numbers out here on the ice. I do know Patrick Kane's number. He's number 88 as he fires that one in. But he needs to get off the ice because we got a line change. Orlov here back on the other side there on defense. Nice poke check there to get it back going the other way. Olofsson trying to get around the defense. Can't do it. Sizikas has it going the other way. That pass gets out of there and Olofsson just clears it. And I think we're going to get an icing call potentially. No, we will not. We stay going. And that shot went out of play. Wasn't really nothing going on there, and that shot just kind of went out of play. I don't know if it got deflected. I think it got deflected there by Oliver Joseph. Um, but we're going to go to a face-off here, and our best face-off guy, Eric Howla, doesn't win that face-off, and it goes back the other way. And now the Islanders are offside as they got it right at the blue line. But they get called for the offside. Eric Calla versus Gouther on the faceoff. Loses that faceoff again. And honestly, I feel like he should be our best faceoff guy, but he's not winning them. Gouther scores! Great pass there, and it is 2 1 Islanders. Great pass there. Makes it 2 to 1 in favor of the New York Islanders. And nothing much we can do there, honestly. It was just a great pass. And we just got to get our heads in the game here. And we got a penalty coming up here. It's going to be going against the Mallards. So that does not help our cause. As that is saved by Dostal. I want to know what the... It looks like charging, I think, was the call there. And it's going to go against Clem Costin. And he's costing us two minutes um, on the penalty kill. And he, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that being charging, but okay. So we're gonna go on the penalty kill here. Jonathan Tays on the face off against Lee, and Tays wins that face off. And we're gonna clear it down to the other end. And I tried to get it there with Bertuzzi, but. That was no go there. Lee's going to take it back the other way here for the Islanders on their power play as that shot is on net, but saved by Dostal. And whoa, what is going on with Taze's stick? My goodness. <laughs> like turned into Rayman or some shit like that. Holy crap. Well, there was nothing going on there on that power play. We're going to clear it out one last time. And a successful penalty kill for the Mallards. Um, really nothing going on there. They hardly got any shots on net. And I didn't mean to clear that. I didn't mean to hit that button. As Horvat, oh, gets a body check there. Nice check by Olofsson to get him off the puck. A great body check there. And then Olofsson with the stick handling on that. Felino's got it. He's tired. He needs to get off the ice. But he's out there anyway because his shift's out there. And I missed that opportunity. Felino on the net. And that is denied by Varmalov. I think that's who it was. I'm trying to remember his name now. And Backlund, oh, he gets his stick. Gets his stick lifted on that one. And the Islanders are going to take it back the other way. And they just dump the puck in. 
And Taves, oh, it's intercepted by Dobson. Try to get it up ice there, and it's intercepted. And then they will just dump it right back in. Here comes Patrick Kane now for the Mallards. Patrick Kane, the sniper. That shot got blocked. Tried to do a little bit of a backhand action there. Nice poke check there by Patrick Kane. Boquist shoots. And we got one second left. And saved by Varmalov. And we go to the end of the first period with a score of 2-1. to one. And honestly, not that bad of a period for us. We did get the one goal, but we did allow two. As we head into the first intermission here, 11 shots on net for the Islanders compared to six for us. So we do need to get some more shots on net. Um, but our defense is doing uh, the best job that they possibly can, especially when the Islanders get it on the other side of the ice. If we could just keep the goals down, that would be great. Here we go. We're ready for period number two here. As we look to try to get ourselves a goal here in the second period to tie this game up. And we do win the faceoff, which is a good start. That gets up there to Jonathan Taze. Taze has it, shoots, and that is being played around in the net, and Varmalov gets the cover for the faceoff. All right, I had to stop my recording there for a minute because my headset died. So I had to plug it in, so I'm going to have a cord off the side of my head that's going to be bothering me. So here we go. We're ready for the faceoff here. Let's try to see if we can't get some pressure here on the netminder. And that's a good start. We win the faceoff, but Ekman Larson turns it over, and now his stick, his stick was freaking out. And Horvat turns it over. Nice takeaway there by Bertuzzi. He gets Brock for his troubles, but Taze has it up ice. And Varmalov, Varlamov, covers for the faceoff there because Taze turned it over. I was trying to make something happen there. Bertuzzi, wow, you can see he got rocked for his troubles. But if you see in the last episode, he got somebody else in the last episode. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, I suggest you do so. Horvat's coming up the ice here. Gets around Ekman Larson. Gets checked for his troubles, and that's a shot on net. Saved. Two shots on net. That time is a score. He just sneaked that right on by Dostal. I don't know how he did it, but he did. And it is three to one Islanders and literally only on like 13 or 14 shots. They have three goals That just goes to show you need to have a good goaltender in net in order to win games And there's Varamalov On another shot there by Backlund. I think it was or Felino and we're gonna go to another face-off I'm telling you guys, I just show, I'm telling you, it shows that you got to have a good netminder to have a good team. And we're really going to be missing Swayman. I just hope Swayman can turn it around because he has struggled whenever we've had him. Olofsson, there's a shot. Trying to get the flexion, but it didn't happen. And Backlund trying to poke that away there. And Lee takes it up ice, gets it to Wallstrom. Wallstrom, he's trying to get around the defense. Oh, I just let him go right on in. And that is saved by Dostal. We're going to have a face-off. I just kind of let him waltz right in the front door there. And, wow, we got three guys in the top ten here for hits. We are acting like a very physical team. And, oh, too early. We're acting like a very physical team here in the NHL. Knowing that we will not be messed with as that is going to be a penalty. Probably a charging call, and it is. Ryan Pollock will get called for the charge. And that's going to be two minutes in the box for him and two minutes for us on the power play where we really need to make it count. We're down two right now. We need to make this count as Kane wins the faceoff shot and Varmalov, Varlamov makes the save for a faceoff. I'm going to botch your name so many times, sir. I just want to score on you. That's all I want to do. I am struggling to do that. Gerard, there's a shot there. Bullquist had it. Oh, but he didn't get the stick handle in time. Otherwise, we could have had a chance at that. And that gets deflected out of play. 
back as indicated by his save percentage, but his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their net nine. After that puck goes out of play, Jonathan Taze will be back on the faceoff once again against Sezikas. And Taze wins the faceoff once again, and now we have pressure on them. Varlamov makes another save. We're going to go to another faceoff. We got to get we got to get a goal on this play here, guys. We got to get the power play goal. We're down two. A goal would be terrific right now. And Bertuzzi, that's a shot. Bertuzzi once again with another shot there. I'm trying to focus up now. Tay or Kane rather. Gerard shot. There's a shot by Taze. Gerard again. That's denied. That somehow was denied. I think it hit him right between the legs, to be honest. And now we're going to have to go back the other way here once again. Bertuzzi, he's opened up the ice. We got it to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi shoots. Taze has it. And the goaltender's down on the ice, and we cannot get it past him. My goodness, man. How can I not get it past him? Oh, we should have had that. And there's another save by Varlamov. And we're going to get another face off here. Got to score, man. He's tired now. He's tired. He's fatigued. We've got to get it in the net now. One minute still on this power play as well. So we have plenty of time here as we don't win the face off. But they clear it out, but not very well. Didn't get all the way to the other end of the ice. And Taze will take it back up. Taze loses it. And they're going to clear it out. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Nice zone entry on the left side. There's Bertuzzi, a shot. Kane's got it. Taze, somebody, please. Somebody, please, man. Get it in the net. For the love of Pete. There's a shot there by Taze. I'm trying, guys. I really am. But I just cannot get it. Taze, there's a shot once again and another save. Now Kane's got it back. And here we go. The pressure is on once again. Kane scores right through the defense. And Patrick Kane cuts it to one on his, I believe, 15th goal of the year. No, 11th goal of the year. He's played 14 games. This is 15. <laughs> His 11th goal of the season, which is a team leading category that he is in. And we have cut it to one halfway through the second period. Finally, the pressure was on, and we finally capitalized on the pressure. Nice defense there by the Quad City Mallards. We're going to take it back up the other way, and we're offside. I tried to get that in there, but he just ended up being offside. But I do, the commentators on the game pointed out our shot total, and we're still down by one. I like the fact, though, that we are getting shots. Like, it could, it could be a lot worse. We wouldn't be getting any shots on net. But we are. That's the main thing. Olofsson, that's in there, but he cannot get through. And that's going to go back the other way. Lee's got it here. Lee gets it poked away. Great defense by I'm not real sure what you're, who you are. I can't remember your name because I don't know your number. Felino. Oh, I had a chance there with somebody, and then I realized Felino got open. And it was Valamaki actually with the good defense there on the poke check. Now it's Orlov. Orlov, good defense, but it gets through. And that's a save by Dostal. And we get it back going the other way. Clip Kunin has it. There's Eric Halla. He's open and shot and saved by Varmalov. Great save there. Boquist has it. Shoots. Olofsson. Halla had it. He shoots, but he missed the net. And now we got to get it back out to center ice here after the good physicality by the Islanders. Coonan's got it. Coonan fires, saved, and he's freaking out because the game glitched on me. Nice play there by Sam Steele to try and poke it away. 
And we do get it away from the Islanders in our attacking zone. Now we go back the other direction here. Up the ice. We got a man open, but the pass was offline. I was trying to get it to Orlov, but it, the pass went offline. Now Brown has it. Brown's going to take it up the other way here. Got nowhere to go with it. Nowhere to go with it right now. Get it to Ekman Larson. Ekman Larson shoots, and that is saved by Varmalov. Varlamov. I'm going to mispronounce your name so damn much, man. Now the Islanders take it back the other way. Game is still 3-2. to two. Barzal's got it. He scores. And somehow another goal like that gets through, and it is 4-2 now. And so far on 18 shots, Dostal has given up four goals to this point. Not a good look if you're Dostal, which is there's probably a reason why he was in the AHL. I don't know what his stats were coming in from his from the AHL, but if they were anything like how it is right now, it's not good. Now we clear back out here. Ekman Larson's got it. He gets it up to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi passes it out to Gerard. Gerard shoots. And that is saved by Varlamov. And now the Islanders take it back the other way. But a nice poke check there. Gets a takeaway. And here comes Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi, he gets checked for his troubles. Ekman Larson tries to get in there. Bertuzzi with the takeaway. Taze, there's a shot that gets through. Tay scores, and it's back down to one. Jonathan Tays with the third goal of his season. The assist is going to go to Bertuzzi. The shot was stopped initially by Varlamov, but the deflection gets through, and he just squeaks by. And the Mallards have cut it back down to one with six minutes left to go in the second period. A high-scoring affair to this point as Backlund gets pushed off the faceoff, but the Mallards win it anyway. There's Backlund. Backlund is in there. Olofsson's in there right in front of the net. And Varlamov makes the save and covers. So far, you, you would think right now the Mallards should be the ones leading the competition right now. I feel like the Mallards themselves have outplayed the Islanders as that is shot on and saved by Varlamov. <coughs> but you feel like the Mallards should be leading this game right now, and yet they are not. They are down one. And... With the Islanders not even, I don't think, have 20 shots on net yet. They might, actually. We'll check the stats at the end of the period. But, I mean, they really, the Mallards really should be the ones leading this game right now. There's a shot. There was a pass right in front there, but it does not get through to a Mallard player. Mayfield tried to get it out there, but it's taken away by Halla. And now the Mallards are back on offense there. That got nice hit check there. Howla's in front of the net. Howla again with a shot on net. And then Howla, he looks tired out there. Costin trying to make a shot, but he does not get it through. And Boquist, Boquist shot there. Howla trying to get it back. Nice save by Varma Varlamov. And now Kostin, he's got it. And Howla, he looks slow over there. He must, I think he's hurt or he's tired. One of the two. There's Wallstrom. He gets it poked away by the Mallard defense. And now the Mallards have it going back the other way. Oh, trying to get it up there. I think that's, not sure who that is. But there, oh, okay. I'm losing my uh, focus here on the players that are out on the ice. Horvat gets it up to Nelson. Nelson has it poked away, and it's going back the other direction here for the Mallards. Oh, and the 
A nice save there by Varlamov. Sorry about that. I had a dog whining at me. And I just let him outside. I don't know what his deal is. Anyway, we're going here for the face-off. Taze against Barzal on the face-off. Face-offs are even right now. We just won our 15th face-off of the night. And I thought Ekman Larson still had the puck, and he didn't. And Kane trying to cut him off there. There's a shot by and saved by Dostal. And we get a face-off. And looking at the stat there, that was the 19th shot on net for the Islanders to this point. And they have four goals. And that one taken away. They're by the Mallards. Now Patrick Kane on a breakaway. Patrick Kane almost. And that one bounced off the post, I think. But that was a bad shot. 13 seconds left. Can they get it in the net? No, they can't. And there's poked away. Poked away. Nelson shot on net. And that was a shot on net. And that is actually their 20th shot of the game as we go to the end of the second period. It is four to three Islanders. And as you get a look at the stats here, obviously you can tell um, the Mallards, besides hits, besides hits, the Mallards are technically outplaying the Islanders right now. We have 33 shots to their 20. They have 37 hits to our 26. Our time on attack, 556 to their 310. Passing, they have us beat, which I'm not a very good at passing in this game. Faceoffs are even right now. We've all had one power play opportunity. And we've honestly, it looks like so far we've cut we have outplayed the Islanders, but the Islanders have just been either more they've just been more efficient with their goals on net. They've just been more efficient with their shots on net, apparently, and have gotten four goals because of it. But at the same time, too. There's a lot of that stuff, though, where those stalls should be making those saves. He's not. So, and they've had a lot of they've had a lot of those shots where they've kind of gotten lucky. Um, especially you see there in the picture where Varlamov is like laying down literally, and he's making the save. So let's get back out here on the ice, guys, for period three, and hopefully we can score and tie this game, maybe even win. Here we go, set for the face-off on period number three here in the QC as we win the face-off here. Taze has it going back the other way. Patrick Kane shot on net there to start the period. That's a good start right there with a good, efficient shot on net. Ekman Larson, that shot was blocked, and we have to take it back out the other way because of offside threat. And now Kane takes it back the other way into the attacking zone. Ekman Larson, that's a shot there, but it was blocked. And the Islanders get it back going the other way. Horvat, he's just going to dump it in. He'll just dump it in there, and the Mallards will take it back over. Patrick Kane, nice pass up ice. Patrick Kane once again with another shot, and it is saved by Varlamov. And we will be set for a faceoff. Here we go. Now we got Backlund on the ice here against Barzal. And that faceoff looks like 2v1 by the Mallards. Oh, Backlund a shot. Oh, almost got it in there. Now Gerard has it. We're looking for an opening right now. There's an opening there, and Varlamov makes the save on that. Can't really get anything there where they can get a deflection. A deflection would have been really nice right there. Probably how we have our stuff set up, I'm guessing there. Backlund, he wins that face off. Full pressure is now active. Oh, and they let their own goal in. Oh, and own goal has tied this game. The goal will go to Adam Boquist. Credit to him, but credit will go to Pollock, who lets it get into his own net. Oh my goodness. An own goal has tied this game at four apiece. Could that be the swing and the momentum here in this game? It was four to three. It is now four to four. 
And that pass broken up there by the defense of the Mallards. Honestly, I have to be excited about the defense of the Mallards in this game. They have played very well on defense, even though they have given up four goals. I honestly have to put most of that on the netminder. I'll look at the footage afterwards, but I have to put most of that just on the quality of the netminder. There's a shot on net there. That is saved by Varlamov, and then a bad pass goes out the other way. And now we have to essentially reset and go back the other way. Now Backlund's got it there. He, we're going to pass it back to Barkov, and then Costin had it. That pass went haywire. And then the Islanders had it, and then they don't. Now they have it now. And they have it back going the other way. Wallstrom, nice defensive play there. And Pajot has it. There's a shot to Polak, and that is def taken away by the Mallards. Now we have a two-on-one, odd man rush. Bertuzzi has it shot, saved by Varlamov, and we get a face-off. Had the odd man rush there, but the defense was played just perfect and could not get that pass to Taze to get a one-timer off. And we get a face-off here. Taze wins that face-off. Ekman Larson shot. That is deflected. It got deflected there in front of the net. Now Bertuzzi has it. Bertuzzi, we're trying to get something started here. And Ekman Larson, that shot got blocked. Patrick Kane, Bertuzzi. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh no, I had a chance with Bertuzzi and I just didn't get the didn't get a freaking shot attempt there. And Ekman Larson, he's got it. Ekman Larson right in and it's saved by Varlamov and Holstrom. Now he's got it back going the other way. Pollock has it. Going up center ice. That is poked away. Nice poke check by a Mallard's player and then a take a, a turnover there and now we're going back the other way. Steele gets checked for his troubles. But now Steele has it coming into the attacking zone. And man, now it's getting physical now. Craig, that's a shot. And Varlamov turns it away, and we're going to go to a faceoff. It's starting to get physical out here now. <coughs> it's really starting to get physical here in this game as we're going to get a faceoff here with Backlund versus Barzal. Here in the attacking zone for the Mallards. And that is won by the Mallards. Ekman Larson is shot, saved by Varlamov, and we get another faceoff. 10 41 left to go in the game, in regulation. We are tied. We win the faceoff once again, do the Mallards. Now we have it on full pressure once again. Can we make something of it? And oh, Nice poke check there to break that up. And there's a penalty coming. We may have a five on three. There's two penalties in one go. A cross check and a tripping. The Brock Nelson gets called for the cross check. And I think we have a tripping call as well. That happened at the end of that to get a turnover. And it will be a five on three advantage with full pressure for the Mallards. Can we make something happen of it? Boquist shot. That is saved by Varmalov. Gerard has it. Now Kane has it. Kane. Oh, that got deflected, I think. And Varlamov may able to make the easy save. As you can see what the Mallards have coming up next. Obviously, they have the Blackhawks in the next game. And Bo Horvat was the other penalty, I believe, because his penalty and penalty minute stat just went up. And a good, good win there for the Islanders as they clear it out. But now it's coming back the other way, and then Orlov loses it. And now the Mallards have to regroup, and they do. Tay's trying to get in there, and he gets rocked for his troubles. Orlov shot, saved Varmalov. And Bertuzzi, now he has it. Bertuzzi, can he make something of it? Bertuzzi in front of the net! And that's a save by Varlamov, and you can tell he's starting to get tired. He's getting fatigued. we got to keep the pressure on. Got to keep the pressure on. Now we're going to come back the other direction here. Bertuzzi, get it up to him. Now we take him to the attacking zone. Bertuzzi gets rocked. 
There's a shot for Olofsson, save Varlamov, and we get a face-off once again. Trying to fill that pressure meter up. Maybe get ourselves a goal here, a game. A go-ahead goal here late in the third period would be awesome right now. Especially since we are on the power play. And Backlund, there's a shot there. I wanted it to get to the Felino, but it doesn't happen that way, which is unfortunate. And now we're offside. Four to four game right now. 8.44 left to go in regulation. Five on three advantage right now for the Mallards with 44 seconds left on the five on three. They will have... I think I think it'll just be five on three, and once that ends, the whole power play will end. Because the Islanders will get two players back on the ice. And there's a shot there. That is turned away by Varlamov. And now Hal has got it. There's a shot saved by Varlamov again. And there's a shot again. That time I got deflected by a Mallard player. A shot there. Nice save, Varlamov. Incredible save. And we go to another faceoff in the attacking zone. The Mallards still have the pressure, but they need to win the faceoff here. Seven seconds left on this advantage. Bertuzzi shot. There's a chance in front for Kane, but he can't get a hold of it. And we're going to get a face-off here with one second left on the man advantage. And if I were QC, I'd win the face-off. The then they killed the penalty off. Good face-off win for the Islanders. And now the Mallards have it. And the Mallards squander a terrific opportunity there on the power play. With a five on three advantage, they squander the opportunity, but they have the puck now in the attacking zone. Taze has it, Bertuzzi, Kane scores! Patrick Kane's second goal of the game has put the Mallards in front, five to four, late in the third period. I believe that was another assist to Bertuzzi. Great assist there by Bertuzzi. That's his second of the game. And I think Taze may get credit for an assist. No, actually he had a shot. No, they do give him credit for an assist. So assisted by Taves and Bertuzzi. And it is five to four in favor of the Q Quad City Mallards. Lee, he's got to come up the other end. There's Dobson. Romanov scores! And it's tied right back up, right through the five hole. I think that went right through the five hole. Should have been an easy save, but it's not. And Dostal has struggled. So, here's a crazy thing for you guys to think about. That, for the Islanders, was their first shot of the third period with, I don't know, as, oh, costin has got a breakaway. Costin scores! Right back at him. It is 6-5. Clip Costin with a beautiful deke of the goaltender. Clem Costin with a beautiful deke gets his first goal of the season. And on that breakaway attempt, just like that, we have taken the lead right back. Great play there with the check by Costin. He just takes it himself. But as I was saying, the Islanders on that last on their last goal just had their first shot of the third period. And I am not kidding. That is their first shot of the third period. And it was a goal. So, Dostal has struggled, to say the very least. And he's got a lot of work to do. Another score! Eric Aula puts us up two. 
The momentum has definitely shifted there after those last two goals in a couple minutes. And this has been a high scoring affair to this point. It is seven to five. Remember what I said after the first episode, the first like or second episode where I don't think there should be that many high scoring games in hockey? Well, this is definitely one of those games where we will have some high scoring. And I only say that because it doesn't happen very often, but it's happening here in this game, and it is 7-5 in favor of the Mallards. The only thing I don't really like is the fact that we do have 60 shots on net, just about. Um, that is not realistic. Which, I don't know, I don't know how to combat that if I just need to lower the amount of time. And I don't know if that's going to count as a shot, but if it does, that's our second shot on net. And it was a very weak one at that. Patrick Kane takes it up the ice. Kane shot, looking for the hat trick. And that is saved by Varlamov. And Bertuzzi, who's getting tired. That was a shot saved by Varlamov. And now the Islanders take it back the other way. Nice poke check there by the defense. There's a shot on net. That is saved. And a great job defensively there by the Mallards. To keep that out of the net. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My voice is starting to go. This is not good. <laughs> As now we have it back here the other way. Two minutes left to go here in the third period. Can we hold on to this two-goal lead to end this game and get our first win playing a game on this channel in this series? Can we hold on for the final two minutes? I would love to have another goal, but if not, that's okay too. I'm not really worried about it since we got two minutes left to go. Nelson, there's a shot there saved by Dostal. And we go to a face-off with 45 seconds left to go in a two-goal game. We've seen crazier things before. As you can see there, the Islanders goaltender is out of the box is not in net they will have an extra attacker on the ice pull off there's a shot blocked at the net and ekman larson looks like he's hurting out there a little bit there's a save by dostal we're going to cover up here and maybe get ekman larson off the ice and ekman larson tried to finish his shift so he's tough for doing that and here we go with another face-off. That is won by the Mallards. That was key right there. And we're just going to try to pass it around. I don't even really care about scoring another goal. I just want to keep this thing away from them at this point. Oh, big hit there. And there you have it. There is a W for the Mallards on home ice. Our first win on this channel without simming. I will take that. Dostal, you honestly sucked, my man. I'm not going to lie. You were terrible in that. And I hope you could figure it out because if not, you're not going to be on this team too long. But we finally do get that win that has eluded us in the first couple episodes. And we get the win at home against the Islanders. A great offensive outburst by the Quad City Mallards. 7-5 was your final. Um, yeah, as you can see, we had 61 shots on net. I'm going to need to find a way to tone that down a little bit. Um, I don't know if that's going to have to be uh, toning down the amount of minutes in the game um, or what. But... Yeah, 61 shots on net. We scored seven goals, so, I mean, we scored the right amount of goals. We'll just say that for seven goals. But at the same time, as you can tell, um, 24 shots on net for the Islanders and allowed five goals allowed. And they only had four shots in the third period. And their first one of that period was a goal. Just keep that in mind. But a win is a win. We will take it while we can. I'm definitely going to enjoy this win. Finally getting a win here. 
the wins have been kind of hard to come by. Um, whether I'm playing on this or playing as the Anaheim Ducks um, on a franchise I do off off uh, camera, um, the wins have been hard to come by. I it's been tough, but uh, we will take a win when we can, and I will definitely take this win. Sorry, right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. <laughs> Obviously, um, like I was saying earlier, um, 60, 60 plus shots. That's not realistic. Um, now, let's keep this in mind, too. I take a lot of unnecessary shots. Um, I'm still am a filthy casual at this game. So a lot of those shots are probably unnecessary. Um, like the slap shot at center ice um, or at by a defenseman there with nobody in front. That's an easy save for a goaltender, at least it should be. Um, but obviously, if you can't tell, when our goaltender's in net, it's not an easy shot, or it's not an easy save. So um, definitely something we have to keep an eye on there. Um, let's actually, we're going to look at those stalls' uh, stats as far as when he was down in the AHL, because I... I don't know about him right now, but the fact that he gave up that many goal, he gave up five goals and 24 shot opportunities. If you get away with just only allowing two goals, that's a great day for a goaltender um, allowing 24 shots like that. So that's a great day for a goaltender. Okay. So he had seven games that he played. He was six and one down in the AHL. So he actually had a good he was actually doing good down the AHL, so it's kind of surprising how bad he was doing in this last game. He only had a 1.92 goal average and allowed average, um, and then a 92% save percentage. Um, I mean, he didn't do too bad down in the AHL. Just as soon as he got up here to the NHL, holy crap, that was bad. So he only he's only allowed 13 goals in seven games. So that's almost two goals a game. Um, but I mean, five goals in 60 minutes of hockey. We'll just say 60 minutes. It's not 60 minutes, but five goals allowed. That's not good. But I guess a win is a win. And you take them while you can. And Dostal definitely took it while he could. But all right, guys, that's it for this episode. Um let me know down in the comments. Like I said, if you want to keep seeing the commentary like this, um, I'm definitely enjoying doing it. Um, doing the best that I possibly can. I'm not perfect, guys. I am going to try and be the best that I can at something like this. Um, obviously, I'm going to mispronounce some names. Like I couldn't get the last name of Varlamov out the whole entire game, except for maybe about 10 times, probably, because I was screwing it up the whole time. So um, it's just going to be the way it is. A lot of these names, though, I'm not really going to recognize. So I'm trying the best that I can here. And doing having the commentary from the end game on helps a little bit. So anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy. Um, like I said, this video is going to come out on Friday. I'm recording this on Thursday. It will come out the next day. And then we will probably not have another video. Possibly, possibly Sunday. Maybe Monday, more than likely. So um, that will probably be a Madden 24 video. Continuing the Carolina Panther franchise. So until then, guys, I will see you all in the next video. I hope you have yourselves a great rest of your day and a great weekend. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.